Happy Sports Talk Day, everybody. I decided to take last week off because of the Super Bowl, but I'm back now and I'm ready to play some Sega Sports Talk Baseball with the 1992 New York Mets. I thought I'd use this game as a backdrop to talk about everything that's been going on in Mets land for the entire offseason. For example, if you remember my last video, you might recall I was on the fence about the whole Trevor Bauer thing, and after seeing what the Dodgers offered him, I'm really glad he's not a New York Met. I just think Trevor Bauer would have been too big of a distraction, especially in a media market like New York City. If there's one thing the New York Mets don't need, it's distractions. I mean, part of the reason why the 1992 Mets were the worst team that money could buy is that there were so many distractions on the team with Vince Coleman and Bobby Bonilla and so on and so forth. So moving off of the whole Trevor Bauer thing, we are instead going to celebrate the arrival of Joey Lucchese. We've got Joey's old team, the San Diego Padres, loaded up as our opponent for today. Getting back to the 2021 Mets rotation as a whole, I really think they'll be just fine without Trevor Bauer. I mean, you've got Jacob deGrom at the top, you've got Marcus Stroman, you've got Noah Syndergaard coming back at some point, you have Joey Lucchese, you've got Carlos Carrasco who came over with Francisco Lindor from the Cleveland Indians, and you've got a young Dave Peterson who emerged on the scene last year. Anyway, the game is starting, so that's probably enough of me prattling on about all this. Tell me what you think in the comments. Should the Mets keep going after the premium free agents, or should they stand pat and just kind of work around the periphery and shore up the, uh, the farm system and the bench? So remember to hit like and subscribe, and stay tuned for me making my usual jokes about Willie Randolph and Bobby Bonilla. See you at the end of the show. True Yankee, Willie Randolph. Bobby Bonilla, still getting paid by the New York Mets. Here 
next up, number 10. Here comes the pitch. Curve. Right one. Here comes. Wait a minute. Round ball. Up the middle. Here comes the throw. Out. Throws to first. Not in time to throw it home. Next up, number two. Delivered. Hit to short. He has it. Here comes the throw. Throws to second. The runner comes in to score. Base hit. Here comes the throw. The runner going for two. Next up, number one. Hit on the way. Fast ball. He takes it. Strike two. The count is 0 and 2. Fly ball deep to left. It drops in. He drops it. Pick it up close to third. The runner scores. Here comes the throw. The runner comes in to score. Been there with a double. Next up, number 16. The runner's gone. The runner hits the third. Swing and a ground ball to short. Out and throws to second. I probably should have just swung away with good in there. He's a, he's a great hitting pitcher. True Yankee, Willie Randolph. Next up, number 25, hitting three, all two. Third, is it is coming right. Ball foul. The count is 0 and 2. The pitch, ground ball to second, and throws to first. Bobby Bonilla, still getting paid by the New York Mets. Next up, number 33, batting 2, 60. Change up, hit the ball, strike, strike one. Hit to short, great stop. The throw to first, in time. Three away, no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on. After three, the score is New York three, San Diego one. Leading off, number 19. He delivers. Hit to short, he has it. Throws to first, he's out. Next up, number 17. Lesson learned, Benito Santiago is one of the catchers who can actually throw out base runners. Ball inside, ball two. 
True Yankee, Willie Randolph. Bobby Bonilla, still getting paid by the New York Mets.
True Yankee, Willie Randolph. After seven, New York four, San Diego three. Leading off, number 53. Number 55 comes into pitch. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to second. The throw to first. He's out. Next up, number 55, batting hole 77, infield back, ground ball foul. He delivers, curve, strike two. He delivers, ground ball to second. He has it, the throw goes to first, he's out. Next up, number eight, batting two, 72, infield one. Drop ball to second. Picks it up, throws to first. He's outside retired. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on after seven. 
seven and a half. The score is New York four, San Diego three. Leading off, number 25. Off-speed pitch, takes it, strike one. Off-speed pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. High drive, deep to center. The center fielder makes the play. He's Bobby Bonilla, still getting paid by the New York Mets. Number 33, hitting 260. Ground ball foul, got it. Delivered. Line drive, right to second. It drops in. Close to second. Safe. Next up, number 20. Time out. Number two, the pitch on the way. Fastball. He takes it. Strike one. Off speed pitch. He takes it. Called strike. Strike two. Fly ball deep to left. The fielder makes the play. Three to left. Two runs. Two hits. No errors. And no one left on. After eight, New York six. San Diego three. Leading off, number 60. Delivered. Line drive to short. It drops in. Got it. Close to second. Next up, number 19. Infield. Here it comes. Drop ball to short. Ah. Drops the ball. Stuff like that seems to happen to me a lot. I don't know if my finger is brushing up against the C button and I'm causing the player to jump too early instead of catching the ball or what, but it always seems like I botched the double play at the most critical juncture. Here comes the throw. 
Next up, number 30. Off three, 27 batter. The runner is for home. Ball game. Up the middle. He has it. Close to second. The runner comes in to score. Base hit. New York has the win. Seven to six. With the score, New York seven. Runs eight. Hit and one error. San Diego six. Runs nine. Hit and no errors. The win goes to New York.